Turner back in at right guard for Carolina. Off the fake to McCaffrey. Pass is picked off. Newton's pass intercepted. Taken back to the 24-yard line. And the splits are speaking to him. Right, Look at he's driving on his ball before Devin Funches even makes his attempt to it. And, man, what a catch. That was high and not a very easy interception. Takeaway for this Saints defense. Panthers must get to the 35 for a first down. Pass deflected. And picked off. All floating around like that, you got to expect the defense to get a good coverage by Kenny Vaccaro and the ability to get a Wow, what a catch. Oh, my goodness. What an interception by Williams here. Good team, de good team defense. Newton steps up. Fires, and it's intercepted by Vaccaro. The Saints today floating in space, kind of like a robber, and look at him go past the one coverage and fall into the other. That's just great eyes, great anticipation by Kenny Vaccaro. In over half of the first quarter for Miami, no one else, not the Saints, have had the ball. Color's going to loft it to Thomas in the corner. Intercepted! What a play by Ken Crawley. He's small, right? Ken Crawley's going up against a tight end. Crawley, 6'1, 180 was more physical than the 6'5", 262-pound Julius Thomas. Stafford with time, but not anymore. Sacked in the end zone. And looked like he dropped the ball for a moment. They're fighting for it on the ground. Field presence and understand that a blitz is coming, a zone blitz. He holds the ball too long. And I believe Okafor knocked that ball out and the Saints were there to recover. That's not on Greg Robinson. That's on Matthew Stafford. <laughs> Stafford stripped of the ball. Craig Robertson, another huge defensive play from this Saints team. Protection, right? So the, all the offensive line is moving to the right. I think Rick Wagner and Theo Riddick were not on the same page as Robertson does a good job of not going for the kill shot. But has the awareness to strip the ball out. Who would like to score quickly and get something going because they have not had much going so far today. The quick pass picked off. That's not what they were looking for. Marshawn Lattimore. Touchdown. The ball is tipped. Must have had a scout report. Watch Trey Henderson get that hand in the air. The ball is tipped. Marshawn Lattimore, excellent catch. And what an exciting play for the young rookie to make this play and get his first touchdown. The Superdome crowd, as loud as they have been all day. The pass is tipped and intercepted. It's Cam Jordan for the touchdown. Wow. This is the 12th batted ball by the Saints. What an effort by Cam Jordan. He's able to seal it off. The 12th batted ball today. That's just two away from the NFL record. Stafford with plenty of time, dumps it off, and it's intercepted again. The Saints have it. That's Vaccaro, but Vaccaro fumbles the ball, and it's out of bounds. Problem is, is that he's working back into the zone, as A.J. Klein has a great break on the ball. Theo Riddick drops the ball. Vaccaro on a deflection is right there. Everett Harris, great awareness to strip it out of there. We must get to the 35-yard line for a first. Martellus Bennett downfield, the antenna receiver, it's picked off by Kenny Vaccaro. With a young quarterback, you're just trying to pick up yards and make it fourth and manageable. You were in four down territory, and you ended up with two receivers essentially right next to each other down the middle of the field. So he's trying to hit Bennett down the middle, overthrows him, and Vaccaro converts. Eagles winning that one 33 to 10. Trubisky intercepted. Marshawn Lattimore. Lattimore returns it across midfield, and that'll ice it for New Orleans. After the play was over, personal foul, number 71, Chicago. That 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. First down. Great stuff, Jennifer Hale. Thank you very much. And now Fitzpatrick steps up and throws to O.J. Howard. And the ball is fumbled. And the Saints have it in the 37-yard line. If it is indeed ruled really a fumble, 
Von Belt right there ripping that football out. To me, that ball is on the ground. Empty backfield. They must get to the 35 for a first down. And that pass is picked off on the deflection. Inside the five, down to the three. It's Sheldon Rankins. Sacks, he's right there in your screen. But again, Tyrod Taylor tries to force it into Clay. Can't make the clean catch. Easiest interception you'll ever have. Stop the clock. Third and ten. Goff steps up away from the pressure. Goes long. Oh, and it was intercepted oh my off the goodness. fingertips of Watkins by P.J. Williams. Watkins is trying to stop and bring the ball, and he tips it right to Williams. Orsted hits it. Inside the 45, one little jab step and then tackled from behind. Ball's out, and it belongs to the Saint. From the 42, Ryan looking for something. Well, oh, he threw the interception to Lattimore. There's no flag over there. There was a lot of contact. Lattimore's at the 30, and the Saints are going to get the field goal opportunity. He is just going to battle the whole time out here on the outside, and then finally. You'll see Julio just sort of drift into no man's land and Lattimore turned his head around and almost took that one to the house. Thankfully, Julio Jones came back to make that tackle. You can end the game on an offensive penalty. You're in the half. We'll go back to the time of the clock, so the half expires. That's an interception. Never hit the ground. Off the hands of Hooper into the arms of the Saints. And this is right in the hands of Austin Hooper. And then just off those hands and it goes right into the hands of Chris Banjo. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't even thinking about making a play. He was just sitting on the... They get it to Jones down here. Ryan, looking, scrambling. End zone shot is another interception. It's Marcus Williams. Good block by Beecham. Incomplete intercepted on the play by Robertson. On the deflection, and he's off to the races and brought down on the play by Forte. Just watch Crawley. He's going to come in over the top. He gets his hands on the football, deflects it right up into the air, right into the waiting arms of the linebacker, Craig Robertson. So right where they want to be, number four in the NFC, 10-4 and four their record. Here is Petty launching deep, looking for Netson, covered on the play and picked off by Lattimore. Down he goes, no time left, and the Saints have a winner in New Orleans today. Third and ten, blitz coming, Ryan on low, dropped, and it's still live, that may be picked off. They say incomplete, it looked like it sat there, no, interception. Marvin Hall runs the deep in route, and the ball pops out of his hands, so it's up for grabs. This is what they call a tip drill for defensive backs. It stays on the backside of Marshawn Lattimore. They reach for it twice, does it touch the ground? You see, it's right there on Lattimore, it's still up. It's reached for it right there by Marcus Williams. It stays on Lattimore, and look who pulls it in. Marshawn Lattimore for the interception. But they'll run it. Freeman. Fumble the ball. It's loose. New Orleans has recovered. Defensive coordinator Dennis Allen. They're going after PJ. Make the pitch. They come back the other way. And it is intercepted by Marcus Williams. His third interception of the year. And there's that turnover bugaboo. Trust your back end. You know, the question is, though, can they overcome all these injuries they've had? Winston forever to throw and now lofts it and under through his receiver who had his man beat and Robertson comes up with a pick. A loss of four now third down and 14 and Winston in trouble uh, avoids one sack now just throws it up to the end zone and that is his second career interception in the red zone. He not thrown one since December of his rookie year. Things could tighten up a little for Keenum. Kano, who's come off that sack last time he had it, up for grabs and picked off by Marcus Williams. He stepped out of bounds, but now a takeaway by the Saints defense. They got Rudolph out there up top, but here comes Cam Jordan, and he's the one who gets the pressure right into Keenum's face. And that's, yeah, you're, you're falling back and to just throw it up for grabs like Keenum did. And, you know, that's, that's the throw that worries Mike Zimmer.